Um, hello everyone and welcome to Real Time with MEPCON China. Uh, joining me today is Ralph Wagenfuhr, um, Plant Manager for Rheem Thermal Systems. Ralph, uh, thank you very much again yes, for joining us today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's great seeing you again. Yes. Um, so, um, what are the technologies you're showcasing here at the show this week? Actually, this year we decided to come uh, with our uh, VXP Plus Wacom mm -hmm. our model here, while the demand is growing in the market for this. And we are very mature from our technology there. And then we also showcase the VXC condenser, the XT condenser, which is uh, also a product we show in combination while we have uh, the long time experience from condenser from 2002, that is now 16 years, mm -hmm. uh, to show that we have the vacuum soldering system. And this is not only a system we developed three years ago. Right. Uh, actually, the uh, condenser already have the condensation soldering with vacuum. Mm -hmm. And that vacuum system we built in the reflow. And I think the market has its um, more demanding on the vacuum reflow systems. We want to show our customers that strengths we have, not only from the uh, building a system with having a vacuum unit inside, mm -hmm. no, that we're having a long time experience. We come up with the process, and that's what we will show the customers here. And that's why we decided to bring these two machines here. Mm -hmm. um, the XC condenser is an uh, entry solution for the Vapro uh, face soldering and okay. the showing the process and our know how. And definitely, the XP plus vacuum reflow soldering system shows that we are capable for the real the best to be in the market with this kind of machine, which we can demonstrate with the process now how plus the technology. So this, we decided this setup to come to this exhibition. Mm -hmm. So what, what, makes, uh, what makes this system, so this uh, equipment, unique in the market? I mean, because there are a lot of other uh, reflow sure. ovens uh, at the show. Uh, the vacuum uh, soldering system, definitely it's a, a chamber inbuilt uh, after the peak zone to mm -hmm. reduce the voids. And uh, we've shown this in our experience with well-named customers in China. Now we have uh, sell many systems already mm -hmm. and uh, we have many, make many tests. Uh, they make tests, our customers, the competitors, and we're mm -hmm. seeing that we're definitely having the better result. We want mm -hmm. to say that uh, why we're reducing more voids, we have a more stable transport system. Mm -hmm. We have a unique chamber, which is a one piece milled aluminum chamber. Mm -hmm. uh, so the transition zones mm -hmm. are very narrow. That is the best, the better technology than the others. And that makes the whole process more stable. So mm -hmm. that makes the transportation the machine itself more stable. Coming up with the process know-how we have from the other team, the condenser mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the reflow in combination, our process team also have shown in China the support to customer why the process is brand new for many, many customers. So if you're starting to have a vacuum soldering system now, but you're having the first time using to void reduction why the request comes right. up and you have to do it, but you're struggling while you're only using the reflow system, we also have the process team here and that's we have helped our customer a lot to improving their processes and make the process for them stable for their customer. And this is where RIM is also very strong. This is our team, we have a team in here. Mm -hmm. As well, we have a team in Germany, we are linked together, so our team has more than 15 people mm -hmm. in combination. Mm -hmm. And I think this uh, benefit to the customer for their process support, especially for the new products. Mm -hmm. So technology definitely leading, I won't say from the narrowest uh, transport, the, 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 the accuracies, yeah. the smallest board sizes we can do on a vacuum machine, and the better process support, I think this makes it more strong as a partner of a RIM, as a partner for such application. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, I can hear that uh, you know from what you've just said, uh, voiding continues to be a big issue in the industry. Uh, it's an upcoming issue that in uh, definitely automotive and in some other industries uh, they are, uh, need to have void-free soldering. So void-free soldering was ever for us an uh, interesting te uh, thematic starting in the uh, year 2000 when mm -hmm. RAIM started to develop their condensation soldering systems. Right. And uh, of course, uh, three to four years ago when the IPCF changed uh, automotive applications below 20%, many customers want to have below 10%. Right. So the final solution by the other solutions like improving the solder paste, improving the process, but uh, the, right. final, the final attempt to really reducing the voids definitely is the vacuum is the best solution. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that is uh, our system doing the best, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you mentioned that. I think it's also important that you also talk to uh, 
uh, the solar paste uh, provider, right? Sure. The uh, manufacturers. The, the process yeah. chain. There's a whole process chain. Definitely, mm -hmm. the we cannot even if the design is wrong or right. the solar paste is wrong, a vacuum mm -hmm. system does not have the same result. That's right. So we helping the customer by selecting, improving design, selecting other components, selecting better solar paste, and helping them in the. A general process design, right. even chip mounting, everything have influenced it. Mm -hmm. But of course, in our oven, everything comes finally together. So right. in the oven, you have the final choice to make, and then the void uh, reduction in the reflow soldering by the vacuum uh, is the, 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 the final, the final, um, how do I say, the final uh, attempt to, to make it perfect. Right. And that's what we can do in, in our systems, not only by the technology, but also by supporting the customers, selecting mm -hmm. the right things in the beginning. Mm -hmm. All right. So is, is is voiding gonna be, uh, you know, will there be a time that voiding will totally be eliminated already, or is it will it will it persist? It uh, it cannot be totally eliminated. Mm -hmm. That's uh, we can void reduction. I think it's also not necessary, and mm -hmm. I think uh, it's a cost issue as well, right? So right. I think uh, the industry definitely will try to reduce voids. The things become smaller, more mm -hmm. currents are over the smaller. Uh, solder joints, so right. definitely the void must be reduced in some areas. Mm -hmm. And if you have uh, very accurate soldering in military aerospace or such things, definitely you have right. to use either other systems like uh -huh. our condensation soldering system, right. which includes vacuum, then you have void free soldering. Right. But for the general SMT, the electronic industry, I think void reduction, mm -hmm. it's enough with the system. Mm -hmm. All right, exactly, because you mentioned military aerospace, mm -hmm. reliability also is a very uh, You have only important. one choice, right? Yeah. So you send it up and it must work, you know? Exactly, and it has to work for a very long time. That's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Ralph, what are the opportunities you're seeing in, the right, uh, in, in China right, right now? Uh, I think the automotive market is very well at the moment. Everybody can see it's still ongoing very good. And uh, we also, within that business uh, strain, mm -hmm. that's also very nice for us. Um, so we're seeing that other markets, uh, we have to focus also a little bit. Why we, we understand now we are in the main strain of this market of the uh, automotive right. industry. Yeah. But what is the next? Uh, last year we talked about and the years before about it, the, the packages changing in China every time you yeah. focus on uh, for the laptop manufacturing and the telephone manufacturing now is the automotive mm. manufacturing. So now mm. we have to already focus what's the next so yeah. to support and going with this uh, streamline in the same right. way. So definitely there's I must say there's something like investments in China we have mm. to focus on. Mm -hmm. Semicon uh, definitely is a big focus. We also already released the Protronica in March in right. Shanghai, our mm -hmm. Semicon uh, reflow oven, which we have a full certified S2, S8 uh, Semicon certification as well, clean room classification. So we understand that the Semicon industry is a growing market, especially in China, it's a huge yeah. investment. And we have the machine ready. Uh, we're right. starting in Taiwan with the business, why we also understand the Taiwan. Um, is the more mature market for Semicon. Yeah. So we have mm -hmm. customers in Taiwan, we're working together. Mm -hmm. I think with this combination makes the customers selecting our system. So we already have grabbed orders in the Semicon market and we have the machine with the certification. Uh -huh. So finally, um, that makes us uh, fit for the next um, batch of investment. And I think uh, this is the right way we are going uh, with the trend and have the right machine, the right equipment mm -hmm. to go with it and support our customers. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so your machines are manufactured uh, in uh, Dongguan. In Dongguan. Yes. Correct. All right. Okay. Uh, I thought they're also they're manufactured. Yeah, the in condensation Europe, soldering systems yeah. uh, generally manufactured in Germany, uh, mm -hmm, but Germany. all the reflow uh, ovens, uh, dryers, uh, curing of machines, also some okay. special dryers. Uh, manufacturing in Dongguan. Dongguan. Actually, we have a wide range of products. We also do tailor-made products now. And the Semicon machine, uh, we call it VX Semico, mm -hmm. uh, actually is also produced in Dongguan. It's developed in Dongguan with our team. Uh, so we have our own engineering team. We have our yeah. own team here. But the final uh, decisions are made in Germany. So mm -hmm. definitely we will send everything back, get approval. And uh, But it's definitely a machine made from this market for this market. For this market, yes, correct. Right. Is it, uh, I mean, is it the uh, first you know, I mean, have you been focusing on semiconductor before or, you know, it's... Uh, not so much. We had two customers, mm -hmm. uh, well-named customers in, like, of course, Infineon, before Infineon. So we right. had our customers in Germany before. Uh, we have done this before, so we have mm -hmm. some base knowledge. But, of mm -hmm. course, the which we focus on is the packaging uh, right. industry, uh, flip chip packaging. Uh, this is the industry we want to focus on for the semicon. Mm -hmm. uh, industry, this is a high market as well uh, in China. Uh, yeah. The wafer industry 
maybe also, but that is not what is our mainstream. So I think the packaging will be our, our biggest uh, focus on. And uh, we have uh, now get process engineers to help. Uh -huh. while RIM, we want to provide not only the machine, we also want to process know-how. We want to understand right. the process and support the customer with our machine. Uh -huh. We have uh, take long time to design the machine, while uh -huh. we want to fit into that uh, specific gap to That's be the right. best also in that area. Mm -hmm. And uh, that we have learned the last two years, mm -hmm. and we have uh, shown that in, not in this show, why this mm -hmm. show is focused on SMT. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Protronica was a joint uh, exhibition with Semicon. Semicon. Yeah. So yeah. there we have shown the machine. Mm -hmm. And uh, next year maybe we will more release about this. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, and, and, and with all the investments, with all the backing that the Chinese government is uh, mm. uh, putting in uh, the semiconductor developments, I think it's a very good uh, uh, opportunity sure, for the company, right? become more. We believe by mm -hmm. <laughs> recent news, actually, I think the semiconductor uh, industry will grow in China. It must grow mm -hmm. and become more independent. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, um, Ralph, um, I think we've discussed quite a bit. Uh, do you have any final uh, comments? Yeah, actually, also, of course, uh, we talking here also of exhibition. You see many booths shows about Industry 4.0. Right. And uh, uh, also our IT manager and our team here came for the Hermes meeting. It was mm -hmm. held uh, one day before the exhibition. Okay. And some activities was here for the Hermes integration, horizontal interface integration, standardization. That is still a key point which also RIM focus on with our partners like ASYS, ASM. Mm -hmm. So we are sitting together and uh, forming a standard from the Europe. We understand that the um, Asian market is still don't really define a, a combined standard. Right. Uh, but we want to be in together with the other equipment manufacturer to bring 4.0 in the real life. Mm -hmm. uh, 4.0 is developed from Germany. We understand it long time ago when the first automation happened in 1970 earlier. Uh -huh. So we understand the Bosch and this uh, companies have their standards, uh, MAS systems already for 20 years and more. So right. we are there also, we have developed that. MAS is not 4.0. That uh, mm -hmm. is often misunderstanding. We can see in, in Asia many especially in China, many companies just developed a new mm. MES system which just reading data out. This is not 4.0. Exactly. So we're showing our, uh, here our systems. We have joined the meeting, the Hermes meeting. Yes. Uh, we have our team here and we're showing also our new software is the Wicon, uh, right. which is an open software platform. And I think uh, this is a focus to um, the real 4.0 that we want to also give the support with our software team, mm -hmm. which we have established here the last year, uh, last two years in China actually. We have now four to five people for the software development okay. here as well for the customer support. As well in Germany, it's a huge team with more than 25 people uh, for the new software, Vicon, as well for the Industry 4.0 to support the customer in the real integration of 4.0. Mm -hmm. This is right. we're showing on our exhibition. Yeah. I think uh, that's also a very important point uh, that the equipment manufacturer come together for us defining a standard. Exactly. As a little bit missing, uh, we hope that it's still ongoing. Uh, mm -hmm. Otherwise, every equipment manufacturer make their own story. It will not help in future. That's so right. that is uh, we searching still partners uh, and seeing what is the trend into. Mm -hmm. And we're following this. Like Hermes is one defined standard. We hope there's other standards coming. Mm -hmm. And we are ready actually for this. Uh, and in, with our open plot, uh, software right. platform, yeah. Recon, uh, we can do that integration into all the standards, but uh, we hope we will have a one more defined, clear standard for all the manufacturer that will help. Um, and this is showing actually that we are capable to do with uh -huh. our Recon software integration. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. and it's important to, for manufacturers to really open their uh, their system so that you know, uh, uh, the integration will be uh, you know, sure, seamless. I mean, big right? data yeah. only helps if everybody using the big data in, in the same way, right? right. Uh, otherwise, you're just saving them data. They analyze so all the data should be happen. And I think also RIM is uh, already shown that we have new technologies in last year product Tronica and we will bring them also to Asia in the next one to two years. So we will have more intelligent systems, uh, mm -hmm. feedback system from the actuators in the machine. So, but uh, this is the, 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 the next step until the standards are defined, the right. communication are defined, yeah. how the customer can really make use of this data. At the moment, it's still not very clear. Yeah. So, with Hermes is one standard. With others, we hope also that uh, other so suppliers, maybe not only Hermes, maybe mm -hmm. uh, Asian integration will come, or we don't know. Uh -huh. So, uh, with our systems in future, we will have the possibility also to bring the data into that pool. 
and we hope that the customer also understand how to use the equipment manufacturer, the data and combine this to a certain standard, not one, mm -hmm. maybe two or three, uh, but that we are fit for it. Not that we have for each customer one standard. That is, right. of course, a headache That's, for everybody. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I hope uh, we can help our customers in the support and bring them into the right direction, which we are doing with uh, our big customers. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, uh, automotive suppliers already define their standards already. Right. And I think they have their own way to do it. Uh, mm -hmm. But they are leading in that industry and mm -hmm. uh, they were a long time doing that before, so they have their own way. But uh, the Chinese customers still need to learn a lot and we right. hope we can support them with our team to bring them on the right level together. And I think uh, most manufacturers here are very much, uh, I would say, uh, receptive to uh, these new uh, technologies that will uh, definitely improve the manufacturing line. Uh, the benefits definitely is uh, once you use it that you will understand how you read the data, how you can adjust your uh, manufacturing, how you can make it more efficiency. By cost is rising, mm -hmm. uh, definitely you need to have more efficient system, more better usage of your system and that is definitely you can after you read the data and analyze the data uh, correctly and make adjustments. So this is, uh, we want to help uh, how to make more use of the equipment mm -hmm. and hope all other equipment manufacturers want to do the same and we do this in the same language would be this will be the right way for the customer really to make more efficient production in their way to use their equipment more uh, in a higher utilization rate that exactly. would be nice all right great thank you very much uh, okay. ralph yeah. uh, it's great uh, speaking with you again okay mm -hmm. thank you also all right and that's ralph wagenfuhrer from Reem thermal systems and i'm stephen las thank you very much for joining us